Well, hey everyone, and welcome back. We're taking a bit of a turn for a more easy uh, topic here in geology today, which is just plate boundaries. Now, my previous videos have all been on isostasy, so the next logical step to take in our discussion of plate tectonics would be our plate boundaries. Okay, so this will most likely come as a review to most of you, but there are three basic types of plate boundaries, right? We have our convergent, our divergent, and lastly, our transform. Now in terms of plate movement, the names really do speak for themselves. In convergent, in all cases, we will have two plates, right, represented by these two rectangles, and they will be moving towards each other, they will be colliding. So we can draw our arrows of movement here. Two plates coming together, right? Divergent, as the name would imply, is two plates moving away from each other. Right, and you'll get this little opening in the middle. And finally, transform. This one's a bit more interesting. It's two plates sort of scraping horizontally uh, past each other, something like this kind of have to look at it from a different perspective. This is like a, a top-down view that I've drawn here. So those are the basic plate movements. Uh, if, if you know the word converge, you know that means to come together. And if you know the word diverge, you know that means to move apart. And then, of course, transform. If you want to think of like a, a graphical transformation, then sort of moving side by side makes sense. So the names are pretty self-explanatory. Um, but then we can have a whole bunch of different outcomes at each one, which I'll, I'll just sort of outline in this video. At convergent plate boundaries, we can have a few things. One, if it, there is a continental-continental con collision, so we'll call that CC, right? Continental-continental. Two uh, plates that are both continental cross to collide. Then we're going to have the formation of mountains, right? Because if you think of it, sort of like two plates being pushed together, what's going to happen? They're going to, you know, under the stress, they're going to fold upwards like that. So a continental and a continental results in mountains. A continental and an oceanic, CO, what's going to happen is called the subduction zone. So subduction is simply when the more dense plate, which is the oceanic crust, goes beneath the continental crust and actually dips into the mantle. So it looks something like something like this. If that's our continental and that's our oceanic, you're going to see the oceanic actually move underneath the continental crust and then go into the mantle below. And eventually, sometimes almost at the core boundary, the mantle core boundary, um, the plate will melt and we'll get a magma plume that rises up and causes little volcanoes up here. So you get volcanoes, you can get subduction, which can lead to um, volcanoes on the continents. And lastly, we can have an oceanic oceanic, which you hear about a lot less, but it's a similar case to the oceanic continental, right? Um, the older oceanic crust, if, if you have two plates, the one that's older is going to end up subducting beneath the other one because it's more dense. Um, Usually it's going to be the older one that's more dense, uh, colder and denser, and therefore it will subduct beneath the younger one, and you'll get, um, instead of volcanoes on islands, you'll actually get little um, volcanic island arcs. Right, because you're going to have the formation of volcanoes just in the middle of the ocean. Um, so if they do rise up above the surface, these will appear to be volcanic islands. So that's convergent plate boundaries. Then we have divergent, and the only really one we're concerned about here is what happens in the oceans, because we actually don't have any divergent plate boundaries um, within continents. So the big thing about divergent plate boundaries is we are going to have mid-ocean ridges. These are very interesting. Might make another video on them. Um, 
but you know, just imagine these two plates pulling apart, and then basically, I guess I can draw a bigger picture down here, two plates pulling apart, and then basically um, magma from beneath, right? Just pretend this whole thing down here, this is, this is all magma in the mantle. So it's actually going to rise up and fill this space, and what you're going to have is new rock that solidifies, right? Igneous rock coming up. It cools once it reaches the water, and you're going to have the formation of this little, you know, over time it becomes taller and taller and wider as more and more uh, solidified magma, igneous rock accumulates, and you're going to have the formation of a ridge that stretches across the entire divergent plate boundary. Um, and then gently sloping downwards until it reaches the normal ocean floor. So that's what divergent plate boundaries are really notable for. And then finally, transform, uh, also sometimes called conservative plate boundaries because no, uh, no continent or no crust is created or destroyed. Um, that's right, divergent are also sometimes called constructive because you get in the formation of new uh, rock, which becomes part of the crust here and convergent, or specifically subduction ones, are considered destructive because you have a plate subducting into the mantle and melting eventually. But transform are also called conservative because we, we don't really get any creation or destruction of any crust. When they're just scraping past each other, the big thing you have to know is just that we're going to have earthquakes, right? And make no mistake, earthquakes can occur at all of these, um, but some of the most notable earthquakes you're going to find are at transform plate boundaries. And there's really nothing else too defining about these plate boundaries. Um, you'll have ones like in California that, you know, create very notable earthquakes. But not a whole lot else to say about transform plate boundaries. So those are the three types of plate boundaries in a nutshell. Convergent coming together, divergent moving apart, and transform scraping past each other. Hopefully this was informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.